This rotating stool is a great demonstration to investigate conservation of angular momentum. The stool does pop out and you can have your students stand on the platform if you'd like, but it's much safer on the stool. The first demonstration is you can have your students hold these weights. Start with their arms outstretched and give them a little bit of a push and ask them to bring their arms in towards their chest. Again, this will change how quickly they rotate on the stool. You can go inwards and outwards. If you want a more dramatic effect, we also have some heavier masses. Now, these are each two kilograms. If you have your students use this, make sure their hand can fit fully around this so that they get a good handhold on it. And again, when you bring your arms into your, your chest, you go fast, extend them outwards, it'll slow you down. Another fun thing to do is with a baseball bat. Now, this really talks about conservation of angular momentum because we know when you swing a baseball bat, normally your body does full rotation. However, if they're on the stool and try and swing the bat, you don't really go anywhere. And this is because there's no net external torque. However, if you have a student put one foot on the ground and try and swing the bat, you'll see that it does behave as normally. A final thing that you can do on the stools, which is always great, is by grabbing one of these bike wheels. Now, be careful because some of these wheels will only spin well in one direction. You're going to have your students hold on to both handles and actually rotate it in one direction. But as you can see here, I actually am holding the wheel in the wrong direction. Um, if you look on the side, there is a little black indication that tells you which way to rotate the wheel. So now that I'm rotating in the right direction, it'll spin freely, and all you have to do is have a student tilt the wheel in either direction, and it's gonna exert a torque.